friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 21st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do. Thanks for tuning in tonight and much love to everybody. Looking here the last 48 hours at our sun, the most latest space weather events were talked about over the last couple of days. We were expecting a large CME impact and it looks like it gave us a glancing blow, if anything, and went underneath our planet. But this is the last 48 hours. We have six sunspot regions right now on the Earth-facing disk. Look at the last 48 hours. Incoming cresting imagery here. Pretty active sunspot region. Right-hand side, which is the northwest region on our sun. Large plasma filament directing there, creating a solar tornado as well. Look at the last 48 hours. Outgoing. Pretty active sunspot region and also a CME taking off in the from the backside of the sun. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can really see that plasma tornado spinning around the top left-hand side. And as well, all of the most latest events, we've had two M-class solar flares and you'll see those flashes there. Another closer look here at that plasma tornado. Coming from that sunspot region there, highly magnetic region. Some more forming in the background there. Amazing stuff. Looking here at 171 angstroms, we can see our coronal hole regions. One in the southern hemisphere, one equatorial turning away, and one quickly developing here in the last few frames, equatorial region. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range right now, but lowering right down after seeing two M-class solar flares just today. Our KP index hopped up to a KP4 overnight. Look at our real-time solar wind average 420, 420 kilometers per second. And it has been pretty sporadic throughout the day. Looking at the ESWA space prediction spiral, showing space weather coming our way, 23rd into the 24th. Large CME blast taking off towards Venus. And as well, here's another CME blast taking off towards Mercury. So our sun's been pretty active recently. All the solar flares and CMEs, and we're pretty lucky to not get hit by a major solar storm. Having a look here at Lasco 2, this is the last three days of events on our sun. Noting here in the last few images, bottom right-hand side, that is the most latest CME that took off towards Mercury. But pretty active as of late. As we saw record high sunspot numbers for January. February, we might see the same. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10, pretty low power, but pretty static today. Most of the energy seen here on this telemetry. Quality of 10.8, amplitude of 8. Having a look here, the last 48 hours for earthquakes, we're going to log that in because yesterday, Turkey, southern Turkey, yet again saw another large earthquake. Look at all these earthquakes through Turkey. Thoughts and prayers to everybody there. 6.3 is in back Turkey. And many other 4.2s and 4.3s throughout the day today. Northern Indonesia. 5.1 here in Sinabang, Indonesia, off the coast there. 4s and 5s straight across Indonesia and up through into Philippines. No major deep earthquakes to report today through Tonga. Most recent was here, 4.6, New Zealand. Most of these were from yesterday, 560 kilometer depth. As well, Alaska, Harbor, Alaska saw 5.4 earlier today, as well as 4.2 yesterday. 5.1 earthquake here reported in Akure, Iceland. Central America saw a few four-pointers. North America, pretty quiet. Tofino, Canada, reporting a 4.1 yesterday. We're still under 200 earthquakes for a 24-hour period, according to USGS. 
New 5.0 here to report South Sandwich Islands. 5.3 there, East Pacific Rise. A look at all this activity here recently through the Scotia Plate. Get a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. As we've seen below average numbers here the last few days. But pretty devastating earthquakes through Turkey. And as well, lots of minor earthquakes are starting to build through California. Interesting activity here up into the Somalia plate. North American plate heads up. Cascades could be next. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Large swath of moisture coming out of the Gulf and into the Atlantic. We have an Alberta clipper affecting parts of northern Ontario and a Colorado low coming in. We've got Swiss and Najima in Japan erupting. Semeru in Indonesia. Shevlich in Russia. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangay in Ecuador. As well, Era in Japan and Popocatito in Mexico. And those are their most recent volcanoes getting updated today. So that's about nine out of the 45 or more that are active and erupting across the planet. Big high pressure ridge off the west coast of the United States right now, but watch for a low here to develop in the long range for California and as well across the United States. Carrying on here is Southeast Asia, West Pacific. We still have a tropical cyclone Freddy who is a Category 3 as it made landfall through Madagascar and is currently on land and will make landfall East Africa three days from now. Now let's have a look at our world weather precipitation forecast for North America starting out here. We do have a big Colorado low developing and will bring a mixed bag of precipitation through Ontario. Watch for extreme weather to persist as we could get about four to five millimeters of freezing rain but we're going to see 10 centimeters of snow involved with that long range forecast big low coming to bc and then a very strong colorado low here developing towards the end of the month going to see an extreme weather event through central and southeastern united states as that vicious colorado low develops in the long range forecast overlooking it south america and africa no major systems developing in the long range but could see some heavier rains through paraguay and bolivia other than that daily evaporation rains south africa you've got penetration of cyclone freddy be making landfall in a couple days looks like it'll be making landfall friday overlooking europe You've got three low pressure systems affecting you the next few days and also some colder temperatures moving in. Overlooking Asia and the West Pacific and as well Hawaii. No major typhoons or cyclones here developing in the long range except for Northern Australia. Forecast for Australia in the long range could see a cyclone here affecting northwestern regions. But other than that, we've still got a lot of rain affecting mostly northern parts of Australia this week. Heavier rains there through Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands. Give you a quick look here at snowfall totals here for the next few days. Could see up to 200 centimeters in parts of the Sierra Nevadas. California, 216 centimeters forecasted there over the next 10 days. Wyoming, set to get a foot. Northeastern parts of the United States, set to get maybe a couple feet. Ontario, about 15 centimeters. And have a look at these temperatures as the polar vortex is swinging around and winter is nowhere near over. 
We do have some extreme cold conditions straight across Canada that will persist for the next few days. Hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.